Are you a dreamer? Are you a person that has a whiteboard full of ideas? You can't sleep at night? You work all day trying to get it done? A dreamer by definition is one that dreams, one who lives in a world of fancy and imagination, or one who has ideas or conceives projects regardless of impractical. So I ask again, are you a dreamer? Being a dreamer is no easy task. There's things that we want to do and sometimes we get them done and sometimes we can't. Sometimes they're out of reach and sometimes they're right at our fingertips. But what makes being a dreamer just the best thing in the world? Having a supporting mate or spouse who's willing to ride it out with you. I think involving ourselves and making sure that that we are part of the dream, we're a part of um, the process, the process, the things that happen, and um, making time for that. Because I think it's easy to just be like, okay, you go do your thing, and I want to do my thing. And then when we come together, it's like, who are you? Who are you? Because um, I've been doing this all week, and you've been doing that all week. And we've only seen each other for like maybe five hours total out of the right. whole week. Right. And, and like, what exactly have you been doing? Right. You know? <laughs> I just know that you haven't been here. But, um, I think it's important too to um, to work as a team. You know, like like you said, if I were to just do or pursue my goal and you weren't involved in that, or you were to pursue your goal and I wasn't involved in that, then that does kind of cause a separation. You know, like you don't, you don't even know what's going on with each other. But I, I think the fact that we work together, um, whether you're on the forefront or I'm on the forefront, we're still working together behind the scenes or or not. Um, so we are involved in the process. We're involved in the in pursuing the passion together. Yeah, I think it has to. It has to become the wife's dream too. Yep. I mean, maybe you know, my dream is not to be on stage and, and singing and, and ministering in that kind of way. But uh, my dream is to see um, him fulfill uh, his purpose. And so, so I align myself with that. And you gotta, to a certain extent, believe that believe in, in me and vice right. versa. I have to be able to believe in you to buy into that vision to want to work towards it. Right. Here are six ways to support your spouse's dreams. Number one, listen, even if you don't want to. Number two, use and instead of but. Number three, add your ideas or assistance when feasible. Number four, inquire about their ideas. Number five, Praise your partner's strengths and gifts. Number six, be honest but gentle with your concerns. Dreaming ain't easy, but somebody's got to do it. Dream boldly, dream together, and have a dream-filled weekend.